Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Red Flood. I'm your host, Mr. Zeltorosia Lover, and uh, Alexander Kerensky Lover, and right now we're at war with the Imperial Authority because they went to war with us. Um, they eventually, uh, initially went to war with the Xinjiang clique, as well as us, as well as the tri tribes, was the, the Baikal thing right here. Uh, but they're dead now. They're long dead. The Trans Baikal place. We've got a lot of comments to go through, but as you can tell, Kalashti is so far not too shabby for us. Well, we've de delivered quite a few Kalashti to them. And we're doing okay. Overall, we're doing quite okay. So, encirclements. Oh, new HQ in Helsinki has been done. Um, new Republican headquarters and Gelsingsfall will help bring another of the Tsar's puppets into our periphery, setting the stage for a weakening of the Empire and strengthening the of the Republican cause of the East. And we finished revolutionaries at home. In order to facilitate the downfall of the Empire, the members of the abandoned leftist organization in Russia should be supported in any way possible. Though we have little capacity for subterfuge, material and financial support for these now underground organizations will help in the long run. Sabotage the Tsar, so we want to wait till we get there. Now, we read this one last time, of course. The comrades in Siberia are struggling under the boot of the despots and reactionaries. Many of them desire the freedom of the Republic, yet are bound and enslaved. We must liberate them. But we'll get there eventually. We did all this stuff. We did all this stuff. Like, let's expand the airbases. The current military airbases in the Far East are inadequate for housing and fielding a truly modern air force. We must expand them at once. As we're more focused on just trying to actually win the war here. So, we'll get that one done. And then, Aerial Doctrines. The newest theater of war, the air. Lessons of the past two wars will. Help us build new piloting schools and structure the next generation of aces, which would be great. As we're slowly, slowly, slowly trying to kill all of our all of our enemies, uh, we could become a winner expert. But we might want to save that for, for another slot eventually. Um, what are we lacking besides support equipment? Just a lot of guns, a crap ton of guns. Okay, that's some machine tools are nice. Grab some rubber because you can. And what else? Anything else here? Trade unions, political power, war support. We really don't need to do any, either one of those. Did they just go to war with someone else? McLeek? I'm not giving them anything. United States of Greater... United Empire of Greater, Greater Austria. Wow. Alright, he's a liberal. Whatever. Well, where the heck... Oh my gosh, how is that the capital? That's so stupid. That should never be the capital. Could use a little more rubber too. Akaban? Um... Well, looks like we're going to need a new general. I'm going to put you under somewhere else because I don't want to use tanks here. These guys, using these guys for tanks, not a good idea. Cool. There you go. There you go. Um, McLeek, no, but we'll see what we can do. 77,000. Increased war effort for now. Can you just go straight for the capital? That'd be really nice. Um, this one will be instantly cancelled with peace. Well, we're very, kind of close, actually, already. There. Yeah. They exist? Not for long. Expand them air bases. Go and do aerial doctrines as well. And... Support in the army. One of the roles of an air force is direct ground support. New planes designed for low yield, close range bombardment should be the development or should be in development to help assist troops. My goodness, how far do we have to go? I don't mind playing this nation someday, but my goodness, this is very, very far. But it helps with land auction. Tank, let's get some more stuff like that. That's fine. Are we there yet? We're almost there. Leave us alone. Good. Finally, keep killing them. There we go. Is that it now? Holy bad words. How much more is there? there we go. It's pretty bad when we've conquered literally every single tile that they own. That's not really smart. Well, just keep killing them off, I guess. Um, what else do we have here? Sure, why not? What are we building? A lot of roads. Well, that's okay. Could be better though. 60%, 80%. Why not? Come on, that's why. Up, oh, and we're gonna take everything here because without us, they would probably they might have died. Maybe. Thank you all, and get ready to go to war with Siberia. Nothing like it. Ooh, that's a case. Um, actually. How about you guys go right here? 
And you guys go right there. Send all the horses that way. You could become a horse general, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Um, instantly canceled if war, so we gotta wait till you got two. Why not? It's fine, too. Cool. Occupied stuff. Well, let's go ahead and do. This one. Help our brothers in Siberia. Followed up with. Supporting our army, of course. Yep, that'd be very nice. Lacking lots of guns? No! We have. Wow! 150 some odd thousand guns now, too! Well, crap. That's actually really good. Over processing. Um, here, yeah, throw some stuff on there. That's nice. That'd be good. And we're out of uh, army XP. Oh, whoops. Oh, well. 1941, of course. Get some more construction speed, because why not? Uh, I might want to get at least one airbase up there. Help our brothers up there as well. Um, supplies, of course, is going to be god awful. But you know what else is new? Oh, you're not linked to the capital, huh? Ah. There you go. Bash shouldn't take too long. September 12th. Not bad. Disperse industry is pretty good. Grab some of that. We'll probably grab some um, construction speed or some logistic companies as well. Daily political power because you can, because why not? Like I say. War economy is very, very good, though. And what do we have over here? Do we have any more room for bombers, planes, anything like that? We do have two armies now. Yeah, I guess. Oh, there go the Germans. Nice. Avangal France has basically is a, is, is a great Austria sandwich. Well, all right. We get her done. So now you should get some supplies for you, right? Well, more supplies at the very least. Oh, Siberian War. With the Kuti secured, we can now turn our attention westward. The Western uh, Siberian General Government is all that lies between us and the Rump Empire State. And the vast tundra offers a few natural obstacles, save for the rivers and harshness of winter that our soldiers are much accustomed to. A conquest should be a formality, with Central Asia and Russia proper opened up to us, we shall reconquer the Republic. Whoever said Siberia is a wasteland? Oh! Okay, well, all right. How many divisions they got? Oh, 26. Okay. Nice. And you all, cavalry divisions, are looking not too shabby yourself. Get some logistics. Get some recon if you can. That'd be very nice. 18 combat width. Not bad. Sure. Why not? Supporting the army, of course. Uh, naval bombers. In order to command our waters with minimal naval deployment, we can use special bombers designed for maritime operations and exercise control of the sea with minimal fuel consumption. Very good. Some comments include, um, let's see. Mr. Kerensky, lover, has my vote as supreme social dictator. Someone else says, uh, there's a Russian federation as Mil Milyokov. I would really like to see that maybe have them do diplomacy unit with America. Um, and also, I did ask in the last video what other different routes we can play using Zelto Rossiya, so we'll definitely do quite a few different routes for this nation, so don't worry, we will get there eventually. Uh, get some more of this too, support equipment would be nice. We want way more artillery, interwar tanks, oh. Um, so yeah. Someone else has asked, can I play as T Tandy's Legacy or Old World Blues as the cause? That's definitely an interesting nation to play as. So yeah, eventually we'll get there. We shall. We'll do that too, because we can. Nice. Naval bombers? Sure, guys, thanks. We appreciate you all. And then, <coughs> oh, excuse me, excuse me. The Russian Revolutionary Fleet. Built from the remains of the Far Eastern Fleet, the Russian Revolutionary Fleet now requires a uh, new capital on screen ships to keep up and compete with their neighbors. Makes sense. Some uh, rubber? Pure Russian rubber. Another comment was, uh, there's also Anne Rhind in Zetorossia. Have the Soviets vote out Kerensky, then the cadets win, there'll be a power struggle. Pick Rosenbaum. So someone says, can I do TNO's submod, Tsar, and Soviets again? At the time of this recording, there's nothing new about them, so I'm going to say no for now, but in the future, when there's more content, yes. Yes. So. That'll be a good thing. 
not take the capital yet? Should be able to, right? Right. Could use a couple more light tanks, though. Which makes sense. Eventually, I do want to use 40 combo with infantry, but we'll get there eventually. <coughs> Dear men, eh? They've lost 69,000. Nice. Uh, supply wise, how are we looking? Oh, that's actually a supply point right there. Uh, do we actually have a connection? Or is it just. We do have a connection, that's good. Um, I don't want to build up too many supply routes. Oh, get that. Ariel. It's because sooner or later it's not going to be worth doing that, but you know, whatever, we can do it for now. Um, better artillery? Yes. And I know better logistics as well, but still. Let's start with two men. Um, ah, expand the dockyards of Vladivostok. With Vladivostok back in Russian hands, the process of rebuilding and improving the dockyards has begun in earnest. The port will become a fortress and world, world, world center of naval power to rival Norfolk Yadnathaifen, Portsmouth, and Petrograd. Here. Let's become one solid front line of 31 divisions. Seven and ten divisions left. Actually, after this focus, we probably want to go ahead and do return to Central Asia. Of course, we've been in Central Asia after the loss of Kazan and the Great Retreat East began. At last, we return to the steppe. We got a great, 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 great thing. Leon Trotsky. You know what? We're going to get Trotsky because we can. Still no one here. Big sadness. No one? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, since I did say logistics, but I do want to get research speed first. Two men should be it. No? Oh, I am correct. Very nice. Well, then. Let's take a look see. Yes, yes. Three. Horsey boys. Yes, yes. Defensive on Moscow, but we'll definitely do this one first. Uh, Turkestan, Alash Republic, Cossack Host, Ormberg's Sovereign State. That would be pretty good to go through, so. And. Should be able to get this one done soon. There we go. Katernberg. And you guys just kind of hang out. Um, just kind of hang out. Let's take a look at here. <coughs> and spots are okay right there. Um, we're definitely going to need uh, right there. It's actually over here. I left Republic, yeah. Cool. And what else are we gonna build up besides refineries this way? So do that and do that, and you guys can do that. And do that too. Cavalry divisions, sport police, anti air. Yeah, that's not bad, you might as well. Armor not very much, actually. Go and do that. Almost no armor, but whatever. PO neighbors, why not? Because we can. Because we can. Because we can. Return to Central Asia. Be very nice. And they'll expand the docks of livestock. But overall, not bad so far. Ooh, we must have made more divisions because it just dropped hard. One thing I really, really, really like about Reflub, it moves so fast. I mean, there's some odds that I'm so used to now that are just moving so slow. But things move so fast. How many divisions you got? Oh yeah. They have to go war at the same time. Get to this point, you might as well just go all at the same at the same place, same time. Might as well. Um guns, trucks, artillery, engineer maybe. 
some flame tanks because you can. Because you can. Or Eastern Fleet? Sure. The Imperial Eastern Fleet was commanded by the Revolution, or commandeered by the Revolution in 1920, and has remained in service since. It's now, however, a pitiful and outdated force in need of reform. Not bad. As we're slowly trying to crush... Oh, this is a glitch. God dang it. That sucks. Um, crush both sides here. Um, Akmolinsk. Would you like to come to Akmolinsk? Where are those divisions? How about you all? Hurry up. Jelyabinsk. I mean, you're done building. You're never done building. You're gonna build until you die. That's why you build work camps. Build until they die. Look at all these areas that need to build blood up. Lots of building up. And actually, since we're over here, anyways, I'll go and get one there. Cool. Alrighty. Better infantry equipment, thank you. More soldiers, yes please. Come straight to Orenburg, please. Far Eastern Fleet, and then Naval Research Center. In order to keep pace with advanced te naval technology uh, around the world, we should establish a Naval Research Center tracking to direct to the development of ships and armaments. Absolutely. And Orenburg is ours. Yay! Turgay, huh? Tar gay. Why not? This spot's pretty bad, though. It's pretty god awful. <clears throat> they won't attack us. That's okay. We can whip them. Go, cavalry, go. Nice, nice, nice. Supplies suck pretty badly all around here. Um, so when am I going to capitulate? God dang it, we can't see. Do we take every tile? That would suck. That would greatly suck. Oh, whoa. Okay, he's getting a little rambunctious there, eh? Alright, there's that. Get some of that, because you can. And then... Ah. There you go. More mil Oh, there we go. Finally, thank God. Barson Fleet, Naval Research Centers. Oh. Let me get in here. Force it. We're not messing around with them. Hey, ooh. Very nice. Ah, we finally got him. Engineers. Better recon. Because now we can go to war with you guys as well. This might be a bit overkill, but that's okay. Three, two, one. Let's go. And that should be up over there. Getting more cords, and we'll go to maybe war with these guys. Oh, the Kavka Society might be a little difficult to take out. They went club in the cuff. Knights of Utopia, eh? Keep building, keep building, keep building. More divisions. No, Jeremy, I think we'll be okay. <sighs> Plenty of guns. Actually, before we do the... We're doing the research center. Feel support. Um, desert campaign? Yeah. The warlords of Turkestan have been playing divide and conquer with the people of the Turkic Desert. Now it's time to show them the heirs of the ways and remind them of the subservience to the north. 
should say, yeah, so did that. We'll just have, like, the horses do it. They should be able to move pretty darn quickly. Oh, and you're still not connected because you still have to build up these roads. Which is fine, it just takes a little bit of time, that's all. Supplies coming through there, which is good. You all train if you need it. You all train as well. Does your campaign. Might as well. Cool. So it just gives a little bit more time before we can actually really take them on out. Let's have some water. Why not? Oh, you know what? Let's do this too. Orenburg. <clears throat> just lots of railroads. Lots and lots and lots and lots of railroads. And we're almost halfway through this, which is not bad. Fleet of support. Support and escort ships are key component of the Navy. Must be filled with the latest in armor, armament, and anti-sub technology. But now, it's time to go and take out some Central Europeans. Nothing's more fun than taking out Central Europeans. Uh, logistics? Sure, why not. Fleet of support, and then uh, subs on the hunt. Patrol on the water of the North Pacific is treacherous and poor court. Conditions make the Bering Straits difficult to navigate on the surface. With the problems of foreign fleets further south, it would be prudent to build a robust sub, -sub fleet to effectively patrol our waters. Take them out one by one, they'll never know what hit them. Pavel Tukhachevsky? Um, okay, Pavel. I love using just horses down here. How about y'all just do that? There you go. Lost about 10,000, roughly ish. Makes it nice and quickerinos. Alright, so who's next? You guys? Sure. Why not? As we've built up quite a bit here. And that's very, very good. I'm going to do that too because he can. Um, here, we'll do that too. There you go. Let's get a bit more factors than one up, but whatever. Alright, three, two, one. Let's grow. Anything else here? No, organization. Level four is not bad. Boris, you're learning how to do a lot of stuff. Wow, holy crap. They really want to die. It's still clutch. God dang it. Alright, so who else do we have left? Kazakh, Turkestan, Caspian Union, Bukhara. Nice. Kiva. There you go. Alrighty. So, we're done with all that stuff. Get some more extraction, because you can. can really use a little bit more rubber. Let's go and get more rubber. And then supporting the fleet. The Air Force is not only crucial for ground operations, but increasingly important part of war at sea. New aircraft carriers are becoming more widespread, and should do our, we should do our best to keep up in this regard. Pretty much. Very nice. Any more planes, actually? Ooh, yes, please. We got plenty of fighters. Look at that. Supplies are probably pretty darn bad around here, though. Mm. We should be okay still, regardless. We have a couple of days. How is supply up here, though? Well, it's looking all right. Not bad. Maybe except here, which in which it is quite bad. What else is new? There you go. Go on in. See who you can terminate. Yeah, that's very easy. These guys are only 18 combat, though. Of course, they do get a lot of extra bonus attack due to armored recon, artillery, just being 18 combat with. So, anything else around here? Toad anti air, just in case. Any more planes? A lot more rubber. Just crap ton more rubber and whatnot. Export focus on exports. Nice. Yeah, I. We're going to become autarkic. Autarkic? That's a word. Self sufficient. Oh! 
Okay, well, they went to war with us, which is fine, whatever. Uh, here, take you guys out for now. There you go. Well, I wasn't planning on them fighting them immediately, but you know what? That's eh, alright with us. You know what, 65 days? That's fine. Give you guys a little bit of a break. See what we can do. Three. Sure, Iraq. Two. Actually, for us, our independence is guaranteed. No wonder the UK is coming into every war we have. Very nice. Thank you, UK. Thank you. Yeah, in the meantime, you guys can train. Yeah. And let's go in. Oh, not bad. Klebnikov, you should get extra attack, shouldn't you? French military mission, which is not bad. Of course, attack and defense on core territory, more cavalry attack. Yeah, not bad. Encryption, decryption, that's not bad, too. No, we didn't get too much more attack. Yeah, 40% more encryption and decryption. That's actually very good. That's actually very cool. But in the meantime, we're going to suffer some quite extreme supply loss, so... Everyone's going to be suffering a lot of losses because of all this crappy supply. Including these guys down here. Um, let's take a look here. There you go. Give these more fighters in general. Or, there you go. Alrighty. I guess we're sack left with... Defense of Moscow. It's time to screw the eagle once for all. The Empire must end. Sabotage the stars. The stars' efforts and stability must be undermined. We should agitate for leftist agitation amongst the supporters of banned organizations. Yep, 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 yep. So now, keep the top. Let's hold. Because, my god, supply is going to suck really badly here, as it already does. You all hold and hang out, and don't suck up on the supply too much. I mean, they got plenty of manpower. Yeah, two, three million, that's more than enough, especially on extensive. So once we have enough supply through here, and then we'll, we'll do fine. Situation four. Rubber, that's fine. Yeah, I don't think they had any anything here at all. You know what, since we're here. Oh, we're gonna war with these guys, okay. I chose the wrong guys to go to war with. My bad. Oh, now I can see it. Oh, 70,000. That's not bad. Oh, 19,000. That's not too bad either. Oh, I didn't have to. How about I gave him orders? Get more max planning first. There you go. More recon for your recon. Except for now. Ashkabad, yes. Shadim of Iran. Arya Meyer. Huh. Engineers. More recon for your recon and your recon. Cool. How strong are these guys actually? Hmm. Maybe. Turn from two sides as we go back in. Because supplies actually okay for now. Not great. Just okay. Up to 31 divisions, not bad. Of course, it's not even core territory, but that's okay. Wait to get down here, probably. It's not a supply point, but that's okay. I 
It must be out of equipment, maybe. You know, at this point, you mow, you mow. Uh, construction? Yeah. Build things even faster if you can. Go and hold. You guys go and do this too. And I got more stuff to build too. Taking our sweet time to get to take out Russia. And of course, then again, we do have to defend ourselves as well, so. By point, looking good. We have Astrakhan as well, so that's actually very nice as well. Wait till we get the spot point up here for so. Logistics helped out just a wee bit. Come down here and mechanize special forces. Why not? Just because we can. Better anti air. Can we learn anything else about these guys? Stockpile wise, they got actually more than enough equipment. They're out of anti tank. So what's wrong with them? Why do they struggle so much? Plenty of manpower. What are we missing? Anything here? No? Hmm. Odd. But whatever. More support equipment, maybe? And uh, we're almost there. Actually, we don't have spot there too. Whatever, keep, keep going. Oh, force and defense, eh? Very costly maneuver, and that's the one we like to see. Cool. Three hundred thousand losses. That's not bad, man. Hey, we start in for even more supply. Yay. Supply points over there. There's really no supply point down here, so we'll go and do this as well. Recon three. Get some better artillery. Let's go for Baku. The more we have, the less I have. Level six, not bad. And very soon we'll be taking a slight pit stop through Iran. Because, oh, why not? We're gonna bomb the living crap out of them. In theory. Well, we can wait real quick before we go to war with them. Very nice, very nice. There goes those auto boys. Supply is pretty bad up here too, which we will have to correct because we will be going over these guys as well. And this does extend the border that we currently have with, gosh darn, Russian corruptors. Corruptors? Corrupt Russians. Oh, we got into it. That's not good. Yeah. Same place. Well, they destroyed our division. Well, we're going to force the attack then. Eighty-nine thousand losses. You're all gonna die then. Mm. 
No. No. You're gonna win. No matter what happens. There you go. Slide detour. Soft. All right. Auto save. <coughs> If anything, I should just keep spawning more divisions up here. That should be better. I think 25 is a bit too long for us to wait, so we're not going to go that direction. We need you all to push a little harder. Nice. Thanks for all the fight through the, through the mountains here, though. Circled. Very good. Killed them off. And like once again, Splat's pretty god awful. But what else is new? Come. He looks like he's blowing up. As much air superiority as possible. And it looks like at this point. Oh, it's 1944. Whoops, my bad. Um, you all spread it out now. Do that. Go ahead. If we're suffering supply issues, they should suffer way, way, way bigger supply issues than us. Uh, why is this not connected? Oh, I see why. That's why we're not doing so well. Here, get a lot of the supply connections done. Nice. Working on it, not bad. And steel, why not? Because we can. Oh, well, I took, we've taken more casualties than I would have liked, but you know what, whatever. The Iranians will learn. They will learn with a brutal iron fist. So I want that one. Cool. Now let's come up here. One massive front line uh, for you. I like the defense, but I like these tactics more. I'm gonna go with ambusher because infantry uh, means nothing for us really. Um, max recon and entrench, as well as more max entrenchment, is very nice.
All right, so that's for Moscow. Time to screw the Eagle once for all. We have to go and do that one. And then, of course, Young Russia, hail victorious. Slava Russia, victory at last, noble Russians, the Republic defeated the Empire. Just as St. George slew the serpent on the crest of the now dead Empire. Get a lot of cores. A crap ton of cores. Very nice. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. Just want to go to Iran, just for a little bit more oil. That's all. Even though we already have Baku, I mean, I don't understand why we need more oil. But you know what? We're not going to ask questions or why we want to go to war with these guys. Just so we can get naval invaded? Maybe. Do they have a division for every tile? They should. They should be relatively strong. And we're done with the land auction. Yay! Garrisons. Not bad. 18 combo width is okay. 18 com 27 combo width. And eh, we don't have the army XP for this now. Whatever. 44. Get more output because you can. I guess we do have the tanks here too, here. Might as well throw them in. Final war. With Moscow, nice. Advanced anti-air. Come over here and grab some land do night doctrine. Anti-air, very nice, very good. And construction engineering. Because we're going straight in. How many divisions I got? Mechanized equipment? It's not bad. Up to 78. We have 66. So we're roughly about the same, but we're doing way more damage. Close economy. Ace pilot promoted. Very nice. Grab one, two more. Ah, I see. You know what? Head down here first. See what you can do. Did say I wanted flame tanks, but whatever. Didn't have to have them. Only 25,000 losses, not bad. Could be better, of course. Andre the first, 2 million manpower. Air wise, how are we doing? That's yeah, somewhat mixed here, just not good. But it's green here, which is good for us, and it's pretty green up here, too, so. We're going to do the whole loop de loop around. Hey, logistics, nice. That's why we waited to upgrade these guys. And these guys are now cut off. Once this side catches up, we'll do a lot better. Screw you guys go here. We're doing very well in Ukraine though. Very, 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 very well. Guess up getting them staffers done. Fifty-seven divisions left. They're not as strong as we are now, which is very good. 
Here, just go for it, Tola. You guys go... Or go Mel. You should go this way, in Moscow. All these divisions are going to die. Once they all die, that's going to be very good for us. <clears throat> and they're, are they defending Moscow? They might be. Maybe. So, pushing up through here. These guys are so fresh that the air bases aren't even done yet. Or the refresh part. Active one more day. There you go. Finish all these divisions off. And I'll focus more down here too. Hey, another encirclement. Beautiful. Beautiful. Moscow's ours, yeah. Good, good, good. You guys are doing better down here too, hopefully. My god, there's so much to take. Go breakthrough. Also, go break through here, too. Fighter twos. Fighter bombers. Now I finally can do stuff down here. Thratskinator. Good job. And we'll deal with these guys too. Really, just main, I'm only just focusing up here first. Actually, how many divisions I got left? 35 max. It's not quite walking in there yet, but we're getting close. Nice. Keep doing what you're doing. <clears throat> They don't like it that we're going up. They really don't like it. Too bad we don't care what they want. We lost 100,000. We lost 600,000. So that's pretty good. Good, good, good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pavel. Well, these guys are cut off now. Oh, yeah, cut off, huh? Time for some, another cipher. Yay! Oh, we actually have ports. Slowly coming up. And they're gone. Thank you very much. It's Estonia, maybe next. Ah, they're allied to the Finns, I see, eh? It's alright. Petropavlovsk.
Yeah, so we get cores and everything we have. Baltic General's Government. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Obviously, we do want to take these guys out too, because we can. The girls move fastly through this area and then maybe take these guys out as well. We'll see. And what else? There you go. Because you can. I mean, you should, but because you can. And then we're about to go to war. Ah, oh, through the Vex. Unify Russia, the specter of the old days, remember again. The troops of Yellow Russia entered Moscow and Alexander Kerensky, along with the loyal through the Vex, proclaimed the reunification of Russia. The Tsarist demons were driven out and vanquished, and a lot of new towns of modernity shown over Eurasia. Russia has finally been brought to democracy. However, it is it really so? Kerensky has known earlier for his authoritarian inclinations suspected that he would not give up his power easily. The opposition to the Tudoviks, if you fear that Kerensky would only become another Tsar, now only decorated with a crown of pink flowers and pretty, pretty promises. Kerensky argues that his controversial moves with a desire to destabilize Russia, which requires a period of reconstruction, but not everyone believes in his sincere intentions. But the people by the people. Because why not? A lot of manpower we have. And should be good to war basically right now. Not a lot of divisions. You guys go and hold on. You guys keep making stuff real quick. And there goes Estonia. Now you guys ruin the infrastructure and supply through here and do that. Oh, well, I thought we could get a good war with these guys. Well, maybe not. It's 125 days. Do they have any cores? Technically, no. So, I think that's where we're going to leave it here. Um, overall, not bad. Pretty good overall. Pretty darn fun. So, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching another great, great, great rest of your day.